Hey y'all, it's Kathy Bo. I'm your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today we got a project that is not even Stampin' Up! Can you believe it? Uh, true story. Okay, so I wanted to share with you guys this really cute fall wreath. It is under $10 to make this, okay? And now I gotta tell y'all, my crafting secrets show on the back. <laughs> My door is solid. I'm just going to hang it just like this. Nobody's ever going to see it, but this is important. We'll talk about that, and you see it's on there. It's not going anywhere. So here's how, now, admittedly, this was in my stash. All of the ribbon was in my stash, but, I mean, you can get it, you know, anywhere with a 40% off or something like that, and these leaves right here are actually from the Dollar Tree and I bought four of these vines. I used only one. So we're looking at one dollar for all of this. This was one dollar. So that's two dollars. This little bobblehead scarecrow, he was a dollar, but he doesn't really bobble, but that's okay because the one that did bobble, his head was kind of hanging off, so it can get a little scary. These were one dollar, so we got one two, three, four dollars here. This little pumpkin here was about a, oh gosh, I think it was dollar twenty-five, so we're looking at five twenty-five, and then the ribbon, I would expect you can get it super cheap. Um, just look in your stash, whatever, and that's all I spent. Okay, I got two batteries in here because that lights up. Isn't that cute now I'll tell you how I did this it's it's it was simple until I tried to put this guy on and if you'll note there is a screw right here because ninja man had to help you'll see on my um, creatively blessed page down here um, there's a picture of him actually screwing what he had to do was make a he had to uh, put up he had to create a screw hole whatever on the scarecrow and put the screw in right there okay so um, here's here's what I did basically I started out with the styrofoam wreath like this and I'm sure I bought these at Michaels or Hobby Lobby ages ago I always use a coupon so however much it is I got it for half or 40% off and I just pulled the leaves just one I just had to buy one and I just I just pulled them right off of that okay and I started oops when you're making one of these okay after you've wrapped it with the ribbon of your choice you got to decide do you want your leaves to go all the way around because if you do you just want to keep going like this but if you want them to frame your um your design like I wanted him to be sitting in this then you want to start you want to have a starting place like right here and just kind of go down and then out okay and you end up with kind of like like he's standing in a bunch of leaves okay and all you got to do I used my um, Tim Holtz scissors which I love these for um, for things like this, it, I would not use them on metal because I have, and now they're dull, and I got to take them to Ninja Man and get them sharpened, which he loves to sharpen stuff. But you just cut that off, and you just um, you just take a leaf, and you put a little hot glue on it, and you're just gonna tuck it. Just keep tucking, and keep tucking. And do you need to go all the way around the back? No, unless you've got a glass door, and if you have a glass door. That you're going to hang it in front of like a storm door then um, maybe or a mirror if you're hanging it over a mirror then you want to have enough ribbon I actually ran out and my daughter and I were at Hobby Lobby yesterday and I was like maybe I need some more of that ribbon oh hi Janice thank you Janice I'm just now seeing comments um, but I was like maybe I need to buy more of this ribbon but it took me three years to use this ribbon. And it was this big of a spool, y'all. And it's from Stampin' Up. 
Maybe it didn't take me three years. Maybe I've had it for two years. I don't know. Oh, wait. No. No. The jute. This is this right here. And it's this thick. This has not taken me long to use. But this stuff here, yeah, it, it's taken me a long time. Um, okay, so if you look at the edge here, the edges are finished. They're like surged on the edges, which makes it, you know, it keeps it from fraying. And what I did, I pinned it here with, um, with these guys. Okay, this is the floral pins. And I've used these before and shown them before in a, in a video. Um, if I were to buy these again, I would get half as long if there is such a thing. I don't know. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. But these are a little long. Because um, if you get a little crazy, like I did with... Please hold. If you get a little crazy, like I did with this Christmas wreath. This one. It says ho, ho, ho. Um, then, you know, you're going to have them, you're going to have some of these pins trying to stick through. So, um, just be super careful. There is a video on this one, and if you guys need to know where that is, just make a comment, and I'll respond to all the comments after the video. But this, this, I've already made my Christmas wreath. It's just cute and fun, and I've got grandchildren, so I figured the, the bright colors would be fun for them. Okay. So, the floral pins. I put a floral pin in right here, and then I just started wrapping. Well, there was a big open space, and because I ran out of this, I just got my twine and started wrapping again. So, when you look at this side, it kind of looks like I intended to do that. But, you know, as crafters, we can take a hot mess and turn it into something pretty awesome. That's what I was trying to do here. And um, his little head wants to bobble so bad. But he's a dollar store scarecrow, y'all. He's only a dollar. So the best he can do is stand there and just look adorable. Look at that face. Isn't he cute? So, oh, and the pumpkin was from Michael's. And I got it half price. And these, I said, uh, were also from Dollar Tree. And they're a dollar. And, okay. So, if you want it to go all the way around, then you just keep layering your leaves. And just let them be a swirl. If you want to go like that, start here and go that way. And could they meet up here? Sure, they could. That would be fine. You could just keep going and not even use um, the burlap ribbon or the jute. That would be up to you. So let's see what I have shown you. Um, glue gun for all of these little guys. And... I'm not a I'm not a floral decorator person, but I do know that when you're designing, you should do you should do a rule of three, um, which means you start with with three elements, or your focal elements are are either three or five or seven, whatever you're doing. I don't mean count all these leaves. I'm talking about I've got one of these shinies here. I got one of the shinies here, and apparently I buried the other one. But there's another one over here. Um, that we're never going to see again. Huh, so much for threes. But I got these three little guys here, and they're kind of like a focal point, and the elements here, you could consider this one, two, and three, because these light up, and it's a whole different thing. Um, but anyway, so try to, try to think in threes, or three, five, seven, that kind of thing, just not um, even numbers. I guess I should have just said odd numbers. Okay. Um, all right, so how did I get all of that mess to stick on? Well, that was a hot mess. I used my glue gun to put this guy on really, really firmly, okay? I, I didn't care. It's a plastic case. It ought to be fine. So I put just a ton of glue, let's see if you can see it, right here, and a little bit of glue back here. And I took these little... I bought two of them, but I only needed to use one. I took these guys, which are in a string, okay? And, again, they were just a dollar, so, you know. And I just bundled them up, and I put a rubber band. See, they're bundled up. Put a rubber band around them, and I used my floral pins to go. I didn't go into the wire. I'm just holding, holding them down. 
I bundled them, put the rubber band around them so they're like a little, you know, little pile of flowers there, and then put those in. And then I put the floral wire there. The, the floral thing is not at all going through the electrical wire, okay? Not going through the electrical wire. I just made sure of that. So, um, hot glue, floral pins, be very careful. Don't go through your wire. And it's not going anywhere. And then, okay, this guy. First of all, he had a little problem. But yes, like I said, dollar store. And who's going to see the back? No, nobody's going to see the back. Ninja Man had to come in and put the screw in. He had to create the screw hole for him. And um, we had to use super glue at the connection because he he was, you know, fra fragile and he broke. But that's okay. Hi, Christina. Thank you. Thank you. I sure enjoyed making it. So, um, I have this one for Thanksgiving. And Christina, I just showed this one, but I have this one for Christmas. And it just says, ho, ho, ho. My children, my grandchildren are not, uh, you know, they don't do Santa Claus, which is fine. It used to, who it used to upset me, but huh, not anymore. So, um, there we go. All my wreaths are done. This one was just scrap paper. So this one, um, this was a dollar store snowflake. These little scrap papers um, came out of a paper pad that I have in my stash. Um, it's not Stampin' Up, but you could do the same thing with Stampin' Up. These little ribbons, again, they were in my stash. And um, these little silvery things right here were in my stash. So this time of year, I frequently go back to my stash and um, make stuff out of what I've already got because I don't want to, I really just don't want to buy, you know, I don't want to go and spend 30 something bucks on a wreath. I just don't. So I hope y'all enjoyed this. I'm going to try and keep it sweet and short, short and sweet. <laughs> um, isn't the stash great, Christina? And Oh my goodness, I've come across some Christmas um, projects that are going to be so stinking cute. I'll be sharing those later. And y'all be sure and check me out on YouTube. Same thing, Kathy Bohannon, Creatively Blessed. And um, I've got tons of video that, videos there. So thanks, y'all. God bless. Love you. Bye.